Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate x to the power of 4 times natural log of x with respect to x. Okay, so we've got two terms, so we're looking at integration by parts. But before we get there, we'll see here we've got natural log of x. And for this to be in the real world, we need to stipulate that x is greater than 0. If x is 0, this is undefined. And if x is less than zero, we're into the complex world. So for this video, we're just going to stay in the real world. Okay, so x to the 4 ln of x. So what we're looking at here, integration by parts. So integration by parts, usual business, u dv equals uv minus integral of v du. So we need to assign our variables now, our u and our dv. So that's our question. So u equals dv equals so as we're going to have to differentiate this to get to the du we're better off choosing natural log of x for the u otherwise we're not going to get anywhere because we're back into integration by parts again so du equals 1 over x dx for dv we'll assign x to the power of 4 so therefore v equals Integral of x to the 4, which is x to the 5 over 5. Okay, so that takes care of all our components for this formula. So now we're going to write x to the 4 ln of x dx equals uv, natural log of x, times x to the 5 over 5. So I'm just going to write that. 1 over 5, x to the 5, natural log of x. So this is part of the answer. So just to make sure we stick to this rule, I'm going to put absolute value in there. Okay. And then minus integral. I'm going to put that here. Minus the integral v times du. So, so v is x to the 5 over 5 du is 1 over x dx. So I'm going to write this as 1 over 5 x to the 5, as we did before. That's the same thing, times 1 over x dx. Okay, so let's simplify this up a little more. So 1 over 5 x to the 5, that's fine. Alan x that's fine, minus, now this integral inside, we could do some simplification here. x to the 5 times 1 over x will just give us x to the 4. And the 1 over 5, we can bring out front. So 1 over 5, and then x to the 4, dx. Okay, right. Now we're ready to integrate this one. Straightforward power rule. So we get 1 over 5 x to the 5, natural log of x, minus 1 fifth, times integral of x to the 4, well that's x to the 5 over 5, as we did here, so that's just repeating that, and, that's that. and then we have the plus c, but we'll come to that in a minute, we just need to simplify this up a little bit more, so we've got 1 over 5 x to the 5, natural log of x minus 1 over 5 divided by 5 is 1 over 25 and then the x to the 5 and then we can put the plus c. Okay, now that will be good enough for our answer. But what we can do, we can still factor out a little bit more, make things a little bit more simplified. So x to the 5 is in all the terms and 1 over 25 could be a factor of all the terms. So 1 over 25 x to the 5 times 5 ln x so if we multiply that by 5 we get 1 over 12, 1 over 5 again so 5 ln of x minus 1 over 25 x to the 5 so that just becomes because we already got it minus 1 plus c okay that is also the equivalent answer